this is the Watchdog. Welcome back to Fun with Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today we have a triple unboxing for you. We have three watches from AliExpress, so this this should be a lot of fun. Let's start with the wrist check. I'm wearing this Phoebus Leviathan. And Greg is wearing my Smith & Wesson Joel McHale Animal Control Watch. I asked Grogu what he's going to do now that the Jedi Academy is out for summer vacation. He says he's going to binge watch last season of the Banner Pump Rules. I said, I didn't realize you were that show's target audience. He said that show is more of a Walmart audience. Let's get these watches open. I don't know what they are. So let's just go in order, I guess. So, let's see. We have a box in a Ziploc bag. See, nothing in the box other than the watch. And we have a Kronos, and that's Kronos with the CH, not a CR. There's a big difference between a Kronos with the CH and the Kronos with the R. A big difference. So this is definitely a ultra affordable watch. This was well under $10, but hey, I'm the only guy on YouTube that reviews watches this affordable. So somebody's got to do it. So hopefully this should be a good watch anyway. So it seems to be worth the money I paid for anyway, because it was, like I said, ultra affordable. It was w well under 10. So I'll leave a link though, in case you want it. Okay, got the plastic off. Let's take the quartz protector thing off. Let's click in the crown, make sure it's ticking and it's ticking. Man, it's hard to see that second hand, though. <laughs> There's not much contrast there. But it's not a horrible-looking watch, considering the price. And it does have a clasp with micro-adjust. That's rare. Usually, they have a no micro-adjust clasp. So, let's put it on the wrist and see what it looks like. Here's the watch on size of my 7.5-inch wrist. And I can get three fingers underneath, so I'll probably be removing two links or maybe one link and just move it in some mic holes of micro adjust. So, not super short, but not super long. I don't think I'm going to give the. I don't think I'm going to give this the Joe Haynes seal of approval. On to the next watch. All right, let's get this one open once again. I don't know what it is either. So. Looks like we have a sizing tool and a pretty good one too. And we have a Podigar, top brand luxury. Podigar, top brand luxury. All right, we get the same logo twice. All right. We have the little bitty, we have the little bitty baby tiny cleaning cloth. Then we have the unsigned warranty card. And the watch, we have another PRX homage. I've had a lot of PRX homages. So, I think somebody asked for me to do this one. So, we'll get this. Um, I ended up repurchasing the Sukume PRX homage. And so, I'm probably going to do another comparison video. Because I have a whole bunch of these PRXs. And the last comparison, AliExpress PRX homage comparison I I did is one of my best performing videos ever. So I figure maybe another one. And I might put it up against that. I still have that Mafe Tissot Zoltan PRX homage. So maybe I'll compare these ultra affordable AliExpress ones with that one and see if you can put different straps on it. But here it is, not a bad looking one. This one has that turquoise green look and it looks like it has a dome crystal. And so let's go ahead and put it on the wrist and see what it looks like.
Here's the watch on size, my seven and a half inch wrist. And I can get three fingers underneath again. So, and look at this though. This one has articulating end links. So it fits a little bit better than that Mathe Tissot I had, which doesn't articulate at all. All right, let's go on to the last watch. All right, this seems to be the heaviest of the three. So I have a feeling that this is the most, probably the best one of the three. It's got some weight to it, even though it's not in a box. So let's get this open with my scissors. Somebody complained the other day that I wasn't using a knife. Well, I used to use a knife. I just think scissors are easier. So, I don't know. Some people just are never happy, I guess. But here it is. It looks like I don't have anything. Yeah, I didn't come with anything other than the watch. looks like oh we have a hang tag and it looks like we have a royal oak style but with a day date complication so that's kind of unique usually you don't see the day like this on a royal oak style so let's get this open and it looks like we have a real class but not a butterfly most royal oak homages have a butterfly and the problem with butterflies, though, you don't get any micro adjust. And a Royal Oak is usually a fairly big watch. And so you want micro adjust. And some watches have half links, but usually the very, very or ultra affordable watches on AliExpress don't have half links. So I'd much rather have it have a clasp like this. So I can use the micro adjust so I can get a good fit. So let's get this plastic off. And this is a, yeah, this is a Wur. So Wur is kind of a mixed bag. They make some pretty good ones and then they make some pretty affordable ones. So this one I think is more in the affordable range. This is definitely a hollow link bracelet. But the watch head doesn't look too bad. You can tell though it's a chrome plated. This is not steel. So yeah, it says steel back. Whenever it says steel back, that's a pretty good indication that the head is not. But the watch is ticking and it looks like the second hand's hitting the marks. And once again, you usually don't see a day date like this on a Royal Oak style. So let's go ahead and put it on the wrist and see what it looks like. Here's the watch and size of my seven and a half inch wrist. And this one I can get four fingers underneath. So this one does get the Johane seal of approval. So I should be removing plenty of links for this. Once again, they're hollow though, not solid. But it's not a bad looking watch considering and it does have the day date, which is pretty unique for a Royal Oak style. All right, that's it. Three watches from AliExpress, and they're all very affordable or ultra affordable. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like any of these watches, be sure to use my affiliate link, and I'll get a tiny commission, which adds up, though. Bye.